Anastasia, Anastasia. Twisted fate has laid a rocky road for you. But with character and grace, you'll meet each roadblock that you face. And your bravery will surely get you through. Yes, your bravery will surely get you through. She is wearing loaded dice like a charm around her neck. With a ring around her finger made of brass With her monkey on her shoulder she steps out upon the deck In her tiny dainty slippers made of glass She is a beauty that is mired in a morass Her grandfather was the ruler of a vast and distant land she is the daughter of the daughter of his queen. And though her mother was the singer in a loud and raucous band, she herself is never heard and rarely seen. And no one knows how very hard her life has been. Poor Anastasia has aphasia, exactly how remains unknown. It's thought her head was struck hard in some vicious crime. She now thinks she is a princess waiting silent for the throne, and for a prince who'll be a most accomplished mind. A prince who never speaks out loud, and moves in rhyme. Oh, perched upon a hilltop sits the house in which she lives, at the edge of a great cliff so steep and tall. Around it grows a forest that is dense and dark and gives a fright to any visitors at all. Because of that, no one ever comes to call. Oh, she can no longer speak, yet for that prince she's waiting still to come and find her, the brave silent heroine. But no princes ever come up to that house upon that hill. And no one knows she is the treasure trapped within. She lives there lonely with her precious violin. Anastasia loves its sound, the only solace in her life. She plays that violin all night from dusk to dawn. But when her monkey dances to it, she forgets her pain and strife. And for that time, all her misery is gone. For she feels just like a queen and not a pawn. Anastasia, Anastasia, twisted fate has laid that rocky road for you. But with character and grace, you'll meet each roadblock that you face, and your bravery will surely get you through. Yes, your bravery will surely get you through.